going to be replacing the serpentine belt, which is located on the passenger side, 2016 Nissan Versa. Here's the part number, serpentine belt, brand new. The belt is located down in there, and to get through it, we're going to be taking off the hubcap and the passenger side tire. Here's everything that I'll be using to take the belt off. Torque sticks for putting the wheel back on. Serpentine belt with the part number. A brick to put under the back wheel to keep the vehicle from rolling. Jack stand. A cricket to measure the tension on the belt. Socket tool. Batteries. Impact gun. Gloves. Screwdriver to take the hubcap off. And then I have the jack. By making sure the vehicle is off. Pull the parking brake lever, which is right there in the center console. Then I moved on and put my brick, since I'm on a slight incline here, in front of the back wheel. And then I removed the hubcap with a screwdriver. Just went in here, a little bit of prying around, popped right off. Now let's get the wheel off. Now I have my jack underneath the vehicle, along with the jack stand, supporting everything. The tire is elevated enough off the ground that I can get it off. So let's get the tire off the rim and uh, now let's get the tire off and then we'll get the black plastic shroud underneath the wheel well off and then we'll get access to the serpentine belt. All right, now that the tire's off, the lug nuts are inside the hubcap. Let's get all, well this is missing one here, but let's get these little plastic clips off. We got a bunch of them all over on the side and for that I'm going to be using this tool right here which is made for it. Just put it underneath this one's a little bent so but once you get it underneath there it just pops it right out of place and then you can just get them pulled right out. There we go it's one down and then I'll put those in here and then I'll make my way through all of them, get this plastic shroud off, and gain access to the belt. Right, starting to get access to everything. Uh, I hit a little bit of a snag because there's some bolts here that are hex bolts, and those need to come off. And then there's some more plastic clips underneath, so I got all the ones that were up there, up there, up there, up there, up there. They're all over the place. So far I've got one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, like eleven plastic clips, and that's because one's missing, and then there's still some underneath that have to be gotten. So once I get this off, then I'll show the rest and the remainder of the process. The housing is off. These little clips, if they fall off, they go up inside here and they hold the screws on. The screws with the star pattern head are both identical in size, so you're going to have two of those. There we go. They're both identical, size-wise. And then you got the bigger plastic heads for the clips. These underneath there. So, and those are all the same size too. So I got that down and this belt is shot. It's completely shredded and ripped. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the tension off, and I believe that's a 13 millimeter. So I'm going to grab that, double check it, and then I'll go ahead and update. All right, there's a bolt inside of here, and because I have the sun, but you see it, it's silver. It's, Let's see if I can block this off a little bit. Yeah. Well, you can see it, it's silver. It's right there next to the pulley right above the AC compressor hose. Let's see if I can get a better better glimpse at it. There it is, right there, that bolt right there. That's for the tensioner. And that silver, no, actually, yeah, it is. Silver headed pulley right there, next to the one on the bottom. The one with the, the shiny silver right there. That is the pulley that needs to be loosened as well. So it's 13 millimeter to unloosen that pulley first. You don't want to take it off, you just want to loosen it enough, but you want to leave the pulley on. Do not take the bolt all the way off, and then you start loosening the tension on that bolt right there. And that's the one that slides back and forth. It's a little bit hard to get into. I'll show you the ratchet that I used, and then I'm actually going to check the pulleys. 
and they sound good and I don't feel any wobble but the belt was squealing so that sounds really good doesn't sound like that's a problem and I'll show you what the belt looks like you see all the splits and the cracks this thing was just done and then where is it right here this is the wrench that I used this is a Stanley it's extendable and you can swivel the head back and forth so I had it in this angle with a 13 millimeter socket took a little bit of force to break the first pulley loose and then that's the pulley that you got to take the nut off of just a little bit and then you got that one up in front that releases the tension so I took a little bit of turning that one up in front before the tension actually got released so I'm going to compare these two belts real fast Let's make sure that they match up. Okay. Kind of hard to do this with one. So. Yeah, it's not going to let me do it. But. All right. You can see this is how this one looks right here. Nice and good, nice and clean. And this one is just completely shot. It's ripped everywhere. It's ready to break. Caught that one just in time. All right, after I get everything buttoned back up, let's start it up and then we'll see how it sounds. This originally had a squeal to it. And like I said, I'm pulley sounds good and actually feels really good, it feels solid. Okay, I got the belt on now finally. It took at least a good 15 minutes to get this worked on here. I got my socket bit, my 13 millimeter socket bit. I'm gonna see if you can see it move. so much light it's hard to see anything but it's basically you twist it to the left and I had to use this to twist it because the wrench just was not turning it enough once it was loose it was loose enough I could turn it by hand but I needed the socket to do it I had to get it looser than what it was so I could get the the new belt on as a new belt has a lot more tension than the old one the old one was stretched pretty bad so but now it's on Let's see if I can block out the sun a little bit here Let's see if you can see how this goes here but it basically loops around the alternator, goes underneath the water pump, and then goes underneath the tension pulley, and then um, the compressor, and then the actual engine pulley itself. And it's not tightened yet. So there we go. I'm going to get all that tightened down. I'm going to start to get this the tension put back in place, and then I'm going to get the bolt tightened down on that silver pulley down there. So again, 13 millimeters for both. All right, the belt is in place. I got that nut in place. And then I locked down that bolt right there on that pulley. So we're gonna start up the vehicle. It made a loud squealing noise before, so we're gonna start it up, make sure everything runs proper. Then we're gonna put the shield back on, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the tire back on. Uh, we're gonna put the clips on, we're gonna get everything put on. So, shield, clips, tire, Let's get this started up, and then make sure that everything works out. it a little bit and there's some flex it's not overly tight 
so I can push up, I can push down. It takes a little bit of work to do it, but I'm not putting 200 pounds of force on it. So I'm gonna call that done. I'm gonna put everything back on. Like I said, shield, plastic clips, and everything is nicely over here. And like I said, when I checked it with the gates tensioner, I can actually show you. It's very hard to get your finger in here when you got this plastic glove on. But let's do this. That's the tension I'm getting. So that looks, if that dot is correct, on the top, that might be somewhere around 140. Hello, hello. Working on the Nissan Versa. Got every single clip in its place. Except for the one that was missing. All the clips are there. All the screws, clips. It's all over this thing. So that's all done. Now I'm going to get the tire on. And I'm going to probably hand tighten the wheel. I'll torque it down to 75 with the torque stick. And I'll hand tighten it a little bit and make sure it's solid. And I'm going to look up the torque specs for it and find out what those are. All right, I checked the Haynes manual for the torque specs for the lug nuts. They're all on. I used the 80 pound torque stick, 80 foot pounds, and they're supposed to be torqued to 83. So I'll go a little bit beyond the 80 that I put them at, get them to the 83 mark, and then I'll put the hubcap on. Then this job's all done.